look at the CompTIA Security Plus exam. I'm going to explain uh, how I prepared for it, how I passed it, what worked for me, and what maybe I didn't need to go over. So strap in and we're going to take a look. The first obvious idea is to look at the CompTIA website. Uh, they have some good information here. Uh, but if you scroll on down to the bottom, you'll have to enter in your name, email, stuff like that, and you'll be able to download the exam objectives. I took the SY0601, that is the newest version of the exam, and I believe the 501 is being end of life very soon. So let's open up the exam objectives and see what we get. So we're greeted by a 24 page PDF. Um, obviously, you don't need to read word for word everything in this PDF, but it does help to look and see what is on this exam. So we see that 24% is attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, and then 25% is imp implementation, and 21% architecture and design. Uh, the last two are 16% and 14%. These probably won't come up as much, but it's still a great idea to look at them anyway. And these are operations and incident response and governance, risk, and compliance. Um, I found that compliance was a very large part of my studying, uh, PCI DSS and FERPA and HIPAA um, and all these different compliance standards that companies and organizations are either required or uh, strongly recommended to follow. Um, but this 14% tells us that maybe we shouldn't spend as much time on these compliance standards. Uh, this goes through a lot of key words that you should know the definitions of, but obviously this exam does not cover definitions. It's not asking you for definitions. It's going to give you a question um, and you're just going to have to know all the definitions and you're going to have to use those in order to answer, best answer that question. Um, so this goes through all the key words, key concepts, uh, stuff you got to know. It doesn't necessarily tell you what they are. It just tells you what you have to study and this is a great place to start. Um, next, we have Professor Messer. So this is a YouTube channel of a brilliant man uh, who does A+, Net+, Security+, um, most of the CompTIA and more uh, certificates. And he does study sessions and he does learning paths. So he has a Security Plus playlist. Um, if we go on SY0601 training course. And if we look, we can see it's just 177 short little digestible videos that explain all of the key concepts that we found on the exam objectives. Uh, so I would definitely take a look through all of these. I would definitely take a look through all of these videos. Um, I chose to only watch the ones that I felt I needed a little bit more prep for. Uh, I felt that I was not prepared for these concepts. And so I took a little refresher and watched a couple of his videos. They're very high quality. Uh, he knows what he's talking about. And he also has study groups. Um, so every couple of weeks or so, he will add, he will do a live stream of a study session. Uh, usually consists of a couple of practice questions, a couple of sent in questions by viewers, um, and then it'll go through what he offers, what he has on his website, his books, his study materials, his PDFs, um, his discount vouchers, which you should definitely take him up on because any discount is a good discount. Um, and all around, he's got some good stuff and I would definitely check him out. Now we have free practice tests. So I through a quick Google search, found this one. I know there are better ones. And if you guys find any of those, put that down in the comments and I'll put that in the description of this video. But I found this one fairly easily. Um, it has some good practice tests. I was able to go all the way through them and see what my score was and what I got wrong. Um, all around good feedback, didn't have to pay for it. Um, all around good stuff. In the same vein, there's also LinkedIn Learning. Um, I know that LinkedIn Learning is also being end of life fairly soon. So I would, uh, depending on when you're watching this, it may not be an option. Uh, hopefully LinkedIn comes out with something similar or a new 
learning path. Um, but this has 21 hours of content. It has some great stuff. It's a lot like Professor Messer, but just a little bit more polished since it is um, built into a learning path, something like a, a cert prep or something like that. Um, next, we're going to go for the paid route. Um, if you do want to go paid, obviously CompTIA has their own cert master. Um, and obviously, if it's being made by the people who make the test, it's probably a great learning, a great practice. Um, and it is. I used that for my Network Plus exam. It was great. Uh, I passed my Network Plus first try. Didn't feel prepared, but apparently I was. Um, but this time around, I used your, you certify. Uh, it was paid for by my school because we had some extra vouchers, but I looked at pricing and it is quite a bit cheaper than Cert Master. So if you guys want a cheaper option, you certify is one and they have an iOS app, which makes it easy to learn on the go. They have lessons, labs, practice tests. Uh, um, they have tests based on each section of the exam, which I felt was pretty nice. Um, this one also has different test sections, but it doesn't really say what it's preparing you for. This one has uh, tests on each individual exam objective section, basically, uh, like section one through five, and it'll just let you know which parts of that exam objective you should look over again. Um, this does fall victim to having the same questions each time you take the, the test. So if you take the test more than twice, you'll have basically memorized the answers by then. And it doesn't really help you besides just ingraining in your brain that exact exam objective. Lastly, we have Hack the Box. And something like Hack the Box or Try Hack Me is a great foothold and great experience, um, just hands on really using the exam objective content, not just learning it from a textbook. Going back to CompTIA's website, CompTIA does have practice questions. Uh, they don't necessarily have interactive stuff and it's not, um, it's not a buttload of questions, but it does have a couple of questions, it has seven here with the answers at the bottom. Um, doing any questions that are from the actual exam is a great way to learn. Um, and it's good to see how exactly they'll be worded and what kind of questions they will be. I will have links to all of these websites down below. I will also have a link to discounted vouchers from Professor Messer. I'll have his website linked down below. And I wish all of you good luck and a passing score. I'll see you guys all later.